morning prayer for the Monday of Holy Week, this week using reflections and readings from the Iona community. God, your constant love reaches the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the skies. Your righteousness is towering like the mountains. Your justice is like the depths of the sea. How precious is your constant love. We find protection under the shadow of your wings. You are the source of all life. And because of your light, we see light. Reading from John chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nerd, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learnt that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. A reflection. I knew what I had to do, but I didn't want to do it. I owed him one. He had brought my brother back from the grave and it had cost him. It wasn't the first time he'd done it. There had been others too. A daughter of a synagogue official, a son of a widow. He knew what he was doing and he knew now that he was going to die very soon. His disciples refused to believe him. I didn't want to lose him, but I didn't want to hold him back. I knew that he must walk his own road. I wanted to help him, but how do you help someone you love get ready for death? It's a hard question without an easy answer. All that I could think of was the perfume that I had used to anoint my brother's body for burial. What I had done for Lazarus's dead body, I could do for Jesus's live one. And I did. And when I heard him telling people that I had helped him to prepare for his death and burial, I knew that he had understood. I love you, Jesus. And so as we walk the way of the cross, we pray. Let us pray to the Father who loved the world so much that he sent his only Son to give us life. Simon of Cyrene was forced to carry the cross for your Son. Give us grace to lift heavy loads from those we meet and to stand with those condemned to die. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Your son watched the soldiers gamble to share his clothes. Transform the hearts of those who make a profit from their victims and those whose hearts are hardened by their work. Lord, hear us.
Lord, graciously hear us. Simon became part of your church in Jerusalem. Bring into your church today a varied company of people to walk with Christ in the way of his passion and to find their salvation in the victory of his cross. Lord of the church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you in Christ our Lord. Amen. When we bruise like a reed in the wind, Jesus, tend us. When we wane like a flickering lamp, Jesus, shield us. When we lose courage and walk without hope, Jesus, cheer us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So as we go out into our day, we turn to Christ in the love between us, the passion within us, the unexpected inspiring us and the earth's embrace. We repent of our solidarity in the sin of the world, acknowledging that within us which wounds others. We commit ourselves to working for change and healing in ourselves and the world. We commit ourselves to wisdom in naming evil, courage to expose it, and strength for putting liberation into action. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.